Yo, what's up? Z Karma here, back with another Cyberpunk video. Today, we will be taking a look at the Ocular System Cyberware mods. In this video, I'll be showing you how each of them works and if they even work. If any information on this video changes, I will add it to the pinned comment below, so make sure to read that just in case. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful in any way, a like rating is appreciated, and if you want to sub for more content, that'll be great as well. Starting off with the one you guys probably clicked this video for, the Trajectory Analysis. This one increases headshot bonus damage by 50%. And the wording here might be a little confusing and I'll explain it in a second. So before we equip it, let's take a look at one of our pistols. Let's take a look at this revolver for example. Remember, in order to see the proper stats, you need to hold the weapon in your hands. So I have it in my hands and down there it says I have it 6 headshot damage multiplier. Now, if I equip that cyberware, if I equipped it, that should give me a 50%. And if we go back to our weapon, as you can see, it went up to 6.50. So it's an additive increase. Pretty simple. Now, you have to be careful when testing certain weapons. For example, this Dying Knight. As you can see, the headshot damage multiplier is 1.8. Now, if I switch to it, it should give me the bonus from the trajectory analysis mod. So if we switch to it, we should get that 50%. However, it gives me 2.55. That's a lot more than 50%. Now, the reason why you have to be careful with some weapons is because this one, for example, says in the weapon card, it says increases headshot damage by 50% and significantly reduces reload time. So it already receives a 50% increase to the headshot damage, but that's a multiplicative increase. So what we need to do here is remove that 50% first. So we're going to remove 50% multiplicative from 1.8. We do that by dividing 1.8 by 1.5, which gives us 1.2. And to that 1.2, we add the 50% from the trajectory analysis, which gives us 1.7. And now to that 1.7, we apply the 50% increase on the weapon card. So multiply that 1.7 by 1.5, which gives us 2.55. So you just got to keep an eye out for those things. And now just in case you were wondering, if you have a skill, for example, let me show you a skill on my reflexes. This one increases set shot damage with sniper rifles and precision rifles by 30%. So if I have this sniper rifle right here, it says three headshot damage. What's going to happen is I'm going to get 30% from that skill. It's going to go up to 3.3 and then 50% from the trajectory analysis, I should end up with 3.8. So now let's switch to that sniper rifle and it's at 3.8. Anyway, now the question is, do they stack? Well, let's try it out. I'm going to go ahead and get another one and another one. And as you see, my weapon still says 2.55. So no, they do not stack. And of course, one thing is, looking at the stats and another is putting it in practice so now let me show you guys how i test these things keep in mind this will be very brief but on my actual testing i gather a lot more damage numbers just to be sure so let's first unequip all the mods okay so with no trajectory analysis we're going to hit this guy in the head so that was a critical ignore the criticals 96 92 uh, that's critical critical 87 84. So as you can see, none of the headshots are over 100 damage. Now, very simple. We're going to equip one. And now we are going to try on this guy. 116 already an increase. Pretty simple. 114. And now, obviously, I shoot a lot more than this. This is just very brief to show you how I test things. Now I'm going to equip two more. And it should be a lot higher than 116 and 114. However, I'm still going to see those 100 something, 111, 104, 99, 114. So as you can see, they didn't stack. I was only getting the bonus from one. Before I equipped any, I was getting somewhere in the 90s and 80s. After I equipped one, it was like 114, 116. And when I equipped two more, it stayed at that damage. So you only get the bonus from one. Moving on to the rest of the ocular system mods. Let's go over Threat Detector. Now this one will highlight enemies that have detected you. So it's very simple. Enemies see you and you can see them through walls and everything. They're highlighted. It's a really good one that I always use. 
And something really cool that I found out is that if you have a legendary ping quick hack equipped, you can hack enemies through walls because they're highlighted by the threat detector. And this is thanks to the ping's passive. Before this, I actually thought that enemies had to be specifically highlighted by the ping itself, but that's not the case, which is pretty cool. Moving on to the explosive analysis, this one will allow you to see the precise explosion radius of your grenades. And this one's pretty nice, if you pull out a grenade, you can actually see the radius like that. You see that? So I can throw it somewhere right, let me, let me try to do this, somewhere there, and I know he's barely gonna get hit by it. And yeah, he gets hit by it. So you can just see the radius basically. Now moving on, weak spot detection, this one increases crit chance by 5%, and this one reflects in your stat page. So as you can see, my stat page right now says 8% crit chance, and if I go to my cyberware and equip that mod, weak spot detection, my stats are now at 13%. And no, they don't stack. Let me just show you real quick. So I'm going to equip all three, that should be a 15% increase. However, over here, it's still at 13%. So it was only getting that 5% increase. So no, you cannot stack these. Unfortunately, I think that would be pretty cool. But honestly, I'd probably still run it here and there, especially with weapons with low crit chance. We also have the trajectory generator. This one's pretty cool. This one allows you to preview your bullet's ricochet trajectory. Keep in mind, this is only for power weapons. So if you check your weapons, you see this one says power, this one says power, this one says power. All these three can actually ricochet shots. And keep in mind, you must also install the ballistic processor cyberware from your hands in order for this to work properly. So right now, for example, I don't have the ballistic processor. I have the smart link. And if I equip the trajectory generator, I can see the trajectory. So check this out. I can see, you see that line? You can see it. But here's a clip of me using it without the ballistic processor. And notice, of course, you see the trajectory, but hardly any shots will actually hit the target. Now, once I equip the ballistic processor, you can see that most of my shots are going directly at the enemy. And this is not as hard as it looks. As long as you are aiming in the general direction of the enemy, the trajectory will stick to the target, kind of like aim assist. So it's pretty easy. I don't personally enjoy this playstyle, but if you do, try using this on weapons with bonus damage from ricochets. Moving on to the last one in this video, we have target analysis. Now this one says all your weapons are non-lethal, headshots do not deal additional damage, and smart weapons primarily target limbs. So let's look at the first sentence. All your weapons are non-lethal. So let's equip it. Now we're going to switch to this. And if I shoot this guy, he dies, but I can kill him again. So it's pretty good if you want to get more XP because this will count as two kills. So now let's take a look at the rest of the effects. It says headshots do not deal additional damage. Now I think this is a little misleading because you do get additional headshot damage. The last two sentences are basically for smart weapons. So you will need to have the smart link in order for these two to take effect. The one that says headshots do not deal additional damage and smart weapons primarily target limbs. So why don't we just switch to a smart weapon and let's see. As you can see, everything, it's primarily targeting their limbs. So check this out. No headshots. It's actually, I think every single shot is targeting their limbs. Now that I see it, I haven't seen a single headshot on these guys. Okay, let me shoot this guy. There you go, I hit a headshot, but I had to be super close and aiming directly at it. So yeah guys, if you're running smart weapons, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, obviously you want to hit those headshots as well. So if it's going to primarily target limbs, I wouldn't use it. Aside from that, the top one which says all weapons are non-lethal. You can actually get that from a weapon mod. So let me see if I have one actually. So if you go to your weapon slots, uh, I don't have one. As you can see, this is a new account. I uh, just got it to level 50. But there is a weapon mod that you can equip that will make your weapon non-lethal, which really helps to get that double XP in case you're leveling up a character. One more thing I wanted to mention about it primarily targeting limbs. This also helps in slowing down the enemies. For example, if it's going to primarily target limbs, sometimes if you shoot enemies and the legs and stuff, they start like 
limping and walking slowly behind cover and they're easier to kill that way so that's another benefit of having this although i think the best part about this is making your weapons non-lethal and like i said you can do this with the weapon mod so i wouldn't take this myself if i were to recommend something you guys take i would literally take trajectory analysis threat detector and then i would take weak spot detection or if you're a fan of power weapons i would just take the trajectory generator Especially on those weapons, like I said, that have bonus damage when you ricochet. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you all think about it. And if you enjoyed it, a like rating is appreciated. And if you want to sub for more content like this, that would be great as well. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.